gonna call it, lads. Now for the clock. Jack of The dog looks up at you with misery-ridden eyes. Its tail doesn't wag, and when it tries to bark or speak, only silence reaches your ears. The dog hangs its head, then looks north. Filled with fury, it barks noiselessly in the direction of the forest. Source hunter, scavenger hunter, for better or worse, our resumes are growing. One side. I ain't got time for chatting until I find the damn thing. You'd be too if you'd misplaced something of Gratilda's. I once saw her skin her own foot soldier alive for mispronouncing All Mother. And he'd only done it after she'd knocked his teeth out for sneezing in her presence. What's worse is, the coward's blaming his troubles on me, only because I happened to be passing by when he noticed his armory key was missing. I'd tell him to piss off and be on my way, but he threatened to tell Gratilda it's me who stole it. Somehow, I doubt I'll get to tell my side of things before my head was shorn clear off. Not a damn thing in all the twelve hills of hell. This idiot orc has no idea where he's lost the damn thing. So he's taken to blaming me, a passerby. It's just like an orc to save his own skin by flaying someone else. Bloody key. 
Who could trust a big stupid old like you with something like that? Yeah, I guess donkeys are custom. They can dig up the river now. I say you're so stupid. You must be itching to lose your fingers if you dare disturb my camp, human. What are you playing at, Toadskin? Watch how you address us, your betters. You did hear how homeless Gorag got his name, after all. Yeah, piss off then. Go and gab amongst yourselves like a pair of chickens, why don't you? I could ask the same of you, small bones. I don't go stopping up to you in the ballet class demanding to know which pirouette you're doing next, do I? What? That's... that's disgusting. A tiny pink flesh human and an orc like myself. Why, I've got eyes for the great Gratilda alone. Gratilda. Uli. We... We can't hide forever. I what? You think this stranger knows anything about the two of us, Alfred? I'll tell you now. That twerp don't know a thing. Enough, Uli. Enough. Surely this stranger has no reason to put us in harm's way. We're all sworn immaculates here, are we not? There are certain secrets that... that perhaps we, beneath the goddess's eye, may share in good faith. Well, first thing you have to understand, we orcs aren't made and lovable. Nah, we're born devoted to our queen, and to her we turn all our intentions. To seek fulfillment outside the Queen's graces, well, it's a treason committed only once in a red moon among we orcs. And the penalties, a terrible death. When we first took the village, I couldn't tell Orfrig apart from the rest of the pink little land scurrying about. A human was a human, as far as I was concerned. As for me, Ulor stood out right away. The curve of his horns, his, his regal bearing. It was fascinating. I I'd never seen an orc as anything but an enemy, but suddenly I, I couldn't keep my eyes off this great green brute. I suppose my staring was rather conspicuous. You suppose? Ho oh, oh. ho. I thought you were aiming to slit my throat the way you were watching me. I, I couldn't help myself. It, it was almost supernatural. But when Ulo marched over to me, club in hand, to address my strange behavior, Something happened. Love at first sight, if you can believe it. I came over aiming for a fight, but all I found in Ulfric's eyes was, well, whatever it was, he hasn't left me since. Please, if you've any mind for sparing two fellows a terrible fate, you'll swear to keep our secret to yourself. We've committed no mm. sin greater than experiencing a love as sweet and pure as any. But if we were discovered, it would mean certain death for us both. Big ugly brute making me do his dirty work. I bet he's We simply cannot make any such promise. This may well prove valuable information. Indeed, we hold no allegiance to a pair of sneaks. That's how it is, is it? Well, small bones. It's a shame we can't trust you to keep your mouth shut. I suppose we'll just have to take your tongue to be sure. Yeah, yeah. 
My love, this place, if love makes me a traitor, then let me call my master's ranks once more. Serving the goddess, a life of peace. I'm overheating here. Let the lost you there. Tell me, how's your vision? Any ailments in the liver or spleen? Lost ones are everywhere these days, after all. I'm a servant to the goddess, of course. One of the first among her enlightened in Revelon, and certainly the most devoted. I've scoured the region for unworthy souls, and am quite efficiently cleansing the land of lost ones great and small. How much better the lost serve her as bone automatons. My expertise as a necromancer is unmatched, you know. I've a success rate is nearing 99%. They end up with their brains a bit, well, scrambled. You can find such a fellow opining over skulls somewhere around here. One of my more harmless false steps, I think. What about that one? Look how it skulks around. Neither Rourke nor Enlightened. I'll bet no one would even notice if it disappeared. Yeah, now, I won't hear another word about it. Only the guilty come to these gallows. Ain't they a lovely sight up there, all in a row? Shag about myself, I think. Each of the little darlings, a sweeter sight I could not ask for. Most of them, yes, but that's far from my only order of business. Our great Queen Gratilda is no stranger in getting her claws bloody, and she will not hesitate to pluck out a pair of eyes or look at her sideways. I handle all the dreaming dears when she's done with them all the same. Whether they're my little ones or hers makes no difference. I'm happy to bring them here. To rest among me and mine. To send Brutilda over the edge, does it? Who'd have thought the greatest threat to the Immaculates would be I... one of their own? You <laughs> look like a nice under guard, that one. Come here, why don't Let's you? have another round of all I get to. Hey, you! Stranger! Over here! You look like you could use a leg up against the competition. Isn't that so? Nearly nine. This is it, you bunch of pansies. The cards are shuffled. Now, where's your bets? Ah, check. Seven's my lucky number, so seven it is. Back to me. I'm gonna call it like Now for the slot. Two of clubs. Three of men. Finally, seven of it never rains, but it pours, eh? What are you, a beggar? I'll add another test to the tally. Let's wrap this up. Go! Go! Now for the turn, down. Jack of clubs. Tressy. Check. What are you doing? Check. Let's see that last bloody car. Brutilda doesn't take the thing, does she? We're waiting to fight the final battle. The time is nearly nigh. Six of us! Yeah, why not? Fifteen years old. Relix! Share in the blood! Cold drink! Let's see it all the time. What are you calling? Oh, my organ 
as flame kindles at your approach. In the market for some magical artifacts and scrolls, are you? souls of Burl Boonhammer, what have we here? Another human in Hunter's Edge. State your business, whelp. Hail, Immaculate. By the sickle of tear gut gouger, I'm glad to see another human face here in Hunter's Edge. Not yet another misshapen orcish snout. If you fancy keeping that human face of yours, I wouldn't take my cues from the Chief of the Mountain Apes. I may have sworn to refrain from carving my name across his back, but yours, I do believe, is free for the taking. Regular ray of sunshine, ain't she? <laughs> Don't let her manners fool you, though. Her disposition may be dark, but her wit is bright. Bright and devious. Believe me when I tell you that she's plotting against us as we speak, and would have long given the order to spill our blood if she wasn't leashed by the orders of the conduit herself. But by the shield of the Stormbringer, she'll not outfox the sworn brothers of Tanaroth. And I sincerely hope she won't outfox the likes of you either. You belong to the Silver Glen tribe, I take it. Thought you would all hold up in high behind. But it pleases me to see some of your number have come to Hunter's Edge. Yes, an outsider not as yet distrusted by the Orcs is exactly what I need in the matter of the missing bloodstones and the matter of the wizard's house. But let's talk in my headquarters over yonder. For by the beard of the Bear Slayer, there are too many green ears around here. Yeah, but don't stop, huh? This is all so pointless. There isn't even anything like worth guarding in here. This is it. Have you paid tribute to the old mother yet? You'll be sorry without our blessing. Go! 
such a gluttonous idler. Oh, mother! You are in choice! Before they snatched away from you. It could happen to you. Oh, 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 mother! Of course, you are totally correct! Dance, Resk. Heave that sack of rot in time. You ought to enjoy this short, cruel life while you can. That's oh, it, you oh, the finest oh, tall. Oh, mother, He's with a great pleasure. I will wait. Immaculate face in town. What a pleasure to serve you. 
have a deal running now. Uh, double the whiskey for any and all who refrain from beating me from the neck up and the crotch down. What about it? I can't say I know a thing about the armory, but I say bringing the occasional flag into the guards there. But I've delivered a drink from barracks to... What can I do you for? What about it? I can't say I know a thing about the armory, but I say... I appreciate your concern, dear friend. What about it? I can't say I know a thing about the armory, but I'll say bringing the... I appreciate your concern, dear... trust you. I do. I, I do my best, but these last weeks as the orc's personal dog's body have taken a greater toll than it's safe to reveal. I can't say exactly why I took the key. I saw it there on the ground and I suppose I, I pictured all the terrible cleavers and axes that might be stored in that armory and I, I placed it in my pocket and carried on my way. It's in a locked chest in the cellar below this very tavern. The key is yours. Oh, but I beg you not to reveal my treachery. I've grown rather attached to my eyelids after all. What can I do you for? Now there, oh, there's a man apart from the rest, even among their kind. He's a strange sort. Nurses the same flagon of whiskey for an hour and sits in the corner by himself. Oh, but the lack of company don't keep him from making conversation. Always muttering beneath his sour breath he is, but arguing some point of his left hands against the better sense of the right. I tell you, someone like that's twice as terrifying as one of these big ornery brutes. At least you can see their clubs coming down in time to jump out the way. Tribute to the old mother yet. You'll be sorry with you. Is supper already upon us? I'd hope for something with considerably less gristle, but I suppose you'll do. Unless you have proof that something has gone awry in the armory, I'll hardly bother with this matter. Have had the pleasure of making his acquaintance. Careful. He was only just released from the hangman's cells. What was the case? Ah, yes. I believe he ordered his rats to chew out the tongues of every last infant within a western orcish tribe. 
an answer to some insult or other from the tribe's all-mother. Or so I heard. He's dangerous, yes, and quite mad. But I'd trust him with my own neck. There's not an orc in Rivalin that would dream of crossing Grutilda, no matter how mad. Leader. A word that hardly suffices. I lead them as far as the head leads the body. They serve me and live in service to me. I am their all-mother. The beginning and end of their very lives. I am loved by them. I am craved by them. I choose from among them he who pleases me, and I destroy the rest. The orcs of this tribe are executors of my will, no more. Naturally, there are few finer pleasures than standing before the fruits of one's labor. A stack of gold, and goods to one side, and sopping sinews and bone to the other. Ah, divine. I've developed a particular affinity for Tenebrium of late. The sheen of it rather pleases the eye. My boys know not to keep a shard of the stuff from me. Consider this your warning too. Miserable, you say? I quite like it. Save the altogether hideous pink apes infesting the place. But exterminating them was a rather titillating diversion, I must admit. The townsfolk here were no different from those in the north. The larger ones beg me to spare the smaller ones. The smaller ones bleat like lambs for the larger ones. Yet they each squeal just the same when you split their piggy skin from nose to navel. Yes, I dare say the wizard won't be so pleased with himself for evading us when he returns. His servants' entrails will be wreathed among his grapevines, and the rest of the villagers are already hacking away in the Tenebrium mines. Undead drones, bent in service to the conduit. Our conduit didn't describe every detail of her plan to her mold-eyed pets in the mines. Well, no matter. It hardly concerns you, unless you can break the enchantments protecting his house. But that's a matter of magic. Not the erotic virtues of your mother's rot-rancid corpse. I doubt anyone from Silverglen will be of use. So it seems. But even the cleverest magician cannot conceal his tricks forever. The wizard may have fled, but he left a passel of servants behind. Servants I very much doubt will be immune to the charms of my screws and cleavers. But how very obvious! Who better than a cow to bring a frightened calf back into the herd? Surely you and that bootlicker's sensibility of yours ought to have an insight or two into where a servant might seek sanctuary. Our rat catcher, regrettably, seems to be in need of some direction in the matter. Who do you think it was what took Gorin's all? They didn't spare a soul. None that couldn't serve them whiskey, anyway. Poor little toys. Poor, quiet one. Toys, new toys, <laughs> but what 
goes, Mum, what's, what's she want me to do with you? Mum! Oh, the best mum in the whole wide world. Usually, orcs like me, well, scramble-headed, me brothers call me, are, are killed right away. But mum says she took one look at me and knew I'd be the best warrior in the world. She brings me lots of toys and friends, and she showed me all the best games to play. At first, I, I didn't like how the toys would holler and cry when I'd make ribbons on them or play eyeball pop. But Mum taught me that that's how they show they're happy. First, they scream for joy. And then they take a long, long nap. Oh, are you leaving? I'll miss you lots. Son of a bitch. Oh, when are you coming back? Sit, sit, sit. Sit, sit, sit! I'm just fine, sir man. And you? Poor little toys. Poor, quiet toys. Murdered in their beds. At least they didn't suffer. I'm just the villagers fine, left to the sir Orc man. Queen suffered far oh. worse fates. Two. us to bits. Well, we've got the key in any case. Now to return it to one way or another. Or oh, have a look at that armory ourselves. I'll bet these soldiers keep a fine collection of equipment. No rats here, it seems. Perhaps they're all on the hunt. Or perhaps they made it into the barkeep stores and now they're sleeping it off.
potent heat. You're looking rather fleshy, Resk. Have you always been such a gluttonous idler? Oh, mother! You ought to make use of whatever lumps of flab you have before they're snatched away from you. It could happen at any moment. Indeed, oh, mother! Of course, you are totally correct! Dance, Resk. Heave that sack of rot in time. You ought to enjoy this short, cruel life while you can. Yes, yes, oh, mother, with utmost pleasure. What can I do you for? What? You opened the chest and you said. That is, you must have found the key, no? Excellent. I don't know a thing about a trap. But you're quite fine, I see. <laughs> I'm glad. You've got to the count of one to do First, it. he tries to kill us, then, he lies to our faces. Has he gone mad? He must have, if he'd pull a suicidal move like attempting to murder an immaculate. Wouldn't you have gone mad too, immaculate pig? Their faces. The butcher, the baker, my. my wife. My son, I see them night and day as I pour flagon after flagon of pig's will in the interest of keeping murderers drunk and happy. I'll not serve a moment longer. May your curdled blood run. Quite the tragic ending for the last surviving villager of Hunter's Edge. We ought not to have pushed him. These conditions had clearly driven him to the edge. This isn't the first time an innocent has fallen in our wake, but let it be the last. Here. You're looking rather fleshy, Resk. Have you always been such a gluttonous idol? What can I do you for? What? We might have done the same in his shoes, the poor soul. The events here in Hunter's Edge have driven him to the brink of sanity. One can hardly blame him for trying to eliminate an immaculate. The events in this village, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the events in this village. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The events in this village are. Oh, God, how I pray for this waking nightmare to end. Yes, yes. Oh, mother, with utmost pleasure. Enough. Ripping. Let the lost die that may live. What are you 
You might hear more of my lilting voice. Rats! Rats are always the answer. There's no hole they won't find. No stench that can deter them. No. There is no hiding from a rat. And so there is no hiding from me. I raise them, train them, and leave them. I am their king. And my subjects will find those hidden villages in no time at all! Lost lands, yes. Flee the slaughter, naughty, naughty! I'll give them quite the spanking with my rats whisper to me where to find them. Yes, ah, perhaps I'll get my fill of my own private punishments first and foremost! The lost die that we may live. Rest. You've got to the count of one to kneel before me. What are you calling? Glover! Have you always been such a glutterous smile? Oh, Glover! Brutilda doesn't tell you a thing, does she? You're waiting to The old mother believes those villagers, being the one time servant of the wizard, will know how to find. Or at least, how to break the enchantments shielding his house. Wicked enchantments, are they? Our mother, yes. And we do suckle from the teeth of her goodwill. No wonder so many of us starve. <laughs> an iron feast in an iron glove is our Gratilda. She doesn't tolerate failure any more than I tolerate a spring nymph stealing glimpses of me during bath time. No, Shira, I say. You'll get your fill at the God's Day Festival. <laughs> Even Hermit leave behind a worthy scrap or two. What? Do I look like his secretary? And even if I were, with my head in a tight little bun and my quill at the ready, the old mother doesn't share her every concern with me, you know.
Someone leave an oven door drink. open. You're looking rather fleshy, Resk. Have you always been such a gluttonous idler? Oh, mother! What can I do you for? What? First he tries to kill us, then he lies to our fate. He must have. Wouldn't you have gone mad? Quite the tragic ending for the last survivor. We ought not to have pushed him. This isn't the. F yep. I'd prefer to drop. Brothers of Yarl stuck in this orc infested dump. I swear I'll start taking heads if we don't get out of here soon. Conduits or the
wish there were other problems that go up around here. I told her. Charla and Horta. Aren't those the skeleton traders we met? Charla and Saisia and Horta just outside this village. If this is to be believed, their spirits are trapped in a dark priestess's totem. This is valuable. By the goddesses, set some parts! Nice to see a fresh face that ain't green as true. Best make yourself known to Yarl if you haven't yet. I'm going to call that hunt. I'm overheating here. Hey, you'll not get a peek at these prisoners without Yarl permission. What's going on in there ain't for the faint of heart anyway. What are you up to sneaking around here? 
Got a soft spot for those damned to the rack, do you? Well, unless you've orders from Jarl himself, scram! Or you'll be next in line. Yeah, yeah, but don't chop my six of that. That one's worth ten coins for sure. Damn it all to hell, I fold. Come, let's see those cards. Need them and we you amateurs. By devil's sweaty swingers, you beat me. Nice under cards, that one. Come, let's have another round before I get too drunk to read the cards. I'll win this one. The goddess is with me, I can feel it. Clean up, clean now. What am I? A goddamn scullery maid. Right, new round, girls. Two cards for everyone. Five gold. Seven. Can I? Seven's my lucky no. number, so you seven it is. You can't. So Back on. to me. Five gold. Oh, I haven't even asked Six. 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 You there! The armory's off limits, you hear? Take another step and you'll be looking for your teeth at the end of a rainbow. Cause it's a god's damn crime scene, isn't it? Our bloody bloodstones were stolen. The old body lot of them. Everybody's pointing their grubby little fingers at Garrick cause he was on guard duty at the time. Yeah, it may be a tad suspicious that now he's missing, but I'll eat pig ball soup if he had anything to do with it. I mean, just look at this shattered door. There's Orc Headbot written all over it. I'm done talking about this mess. Ask Jarl if you're so bloody interested. Oh, I get two sheep to read the cards. I'll have her till the end. And I do her till the end. So she's she's back here, I'll pass her with till. Never rains when it pours, eh? You don't look like the rest of the immaculates that pass through here. Clean up, clean up. Which tribe did you say you were from? God's damn scullery, mate. This is it, you butcher pants. May your sword never sully, and your shield never shatter. The bloodstones are the reason we came here in the first place. The conduit has need of star stones imbued with human blood, so she can create her death knights. Both the Brotherhood and the Orcs were given their share of stones, and we filled them to the brim with blood, then stored them for the conduit to collect when she returns from Phantom Forest. Last night, though, someone raided this very building and disappeared with our stones. They were being guarded by Garrick Giantbane, a son of the mountain I'd entrust with my life. Grutilda says he ran off with the Bloodstones, that he is a betrayer to the cause of Immaculate. But I know this to be untrue. The Orcs stole the stones. Of that I'm certain. Grutilda is hatching some plan, and we'll all be in dire straits indeed if it comes to fruition. Those stones make her powerful. Too powerful. We need them back. With every orc eyes us peak dwellers with suspicion. That is why I ask of you to find proof. Proof that it was an orc that did the deed. Once I have it, I have a reason to assault the orcs without risking the wrath of the conduit. She'll not stand for theft among immaculates. So find me that proof, and we'll slaughter the orcs together. Hey, conduit's orders. Best not to get on her bad side, easy, you know that. Yeah, yeah, but her orders don't charm my feet. Where's your best? Then go and find you yourself a sheep if you're so me. bloody hot and bad. Hey, you'll not get a peek. What are you up to, Snake? Want to get your hands on the flare knives, do you? <laughs> you'll have to see Yarl about that. The way I figure it, you'll be happy to have a reason to change the guard down there. We'll never find out where those villagers are hiding and these orcs club every last witness silly. I'll open with five big ones. I'm going to call that house. Look at me, Sam. Can I? Call. No. Yeah. Hey. You'll not get a peek. What are you up to, Snip? Welcome, yes, too. May your sword never sully the blood stop. Both the brother. Last night, the orc. That is why I ask of you to find proof. Proof that it was an orc that did the deed. Once I have it, I have a. Oh, yeah. 
bothered. Don't Good officer, officer hell, take hold. some parts. Go. Let Let's the shut your mouth and go get some wine. Nice to see a fresh face that ain't green as tr- You again? You got cotton in your ears or are you just plain stupid? Chief asked you to look into the matter, did he? Well, I can't say if you know your ass from your forehead, but if you've earned Jarl's trust, you've earned mine too. Go ahead and have a look. I fear there won't be much to find, though. I'm warm as fresh apple pie. This is it, you The cards are shuffled. Now, place your bets. This is taking bloody ages. I need a drink and a breather. Clean up, clean out. What am I? A god's damn scullery maid. Check. Yeah, check. Go on. Fine, fine, I'll check too. Now, let's see what we're hiding under there. Six of clubs! That one's worth ten coins for sure. Damn it all to hell, I fold. Come, let's see those cards. <laughs> Read them and weep, you amateurs. I could do better than that. Clean up, clean out. What am I? A god's damn scholarly man. Pause, eh? Before I get too drunk to read the cards. I'm warm as fresh apple pie. Let's shut your mouth and go get some wine, my don't you? Now there's an idea with a ring to it. This is taking bloody ages. I need a drink and a breather. Into the unknown until the beast is caught. 
That must be the monster who's been slaughtering my men by the dozens. Kind knight, I, his rodent highness, do make a request. Remove that beast from this town. Spare my men the claw and tooth. I'd consider you a true friend if you'd oblige me in this matter. And the loyalty of my friends never goes unrewarded. Find me in the tavern cellar if you desire a second consultation. Oh, the smell of whiskey in there does so delight a king's senses. Seven's my lucky number, so seven it is. And back to me. I'm gonna call it my... May your sword never sully. And your shield never shatter. I am Yar Woodock, son. Father among brothers. Son among the mountains. Me and mine hail from the snow-capped heights of Tanaroth. The very thrones of the world. Our lives are devoted to the hunt. Every town and every city we find we plunder. And burn and put to the sword. Sacrifices are they all to the might of the mountains. Tokens of reverence to the power of the peaks. Gods we have plenty. Of war, of death and of victory. But now, a goddess we have too. Aye, we have seen the workings of Bloodstone. And loyal are we to she who unites in blood. By the teeth of Kjell Wolfjaw, as immaculate shall we rule the world. The conduit asked us to do what we do best. Invade and destroy. She set us on our way with a store of star stones, ready to be charged and, once made into bloodstones, sent to you folks in the mines of Luke Culler. We didn't know Grutilda's dogs had beat us there by a half day, but no matter. There were still plenty of strays to be caught and bled by the time we arrived. Now all that's left is finding a way into the wizard's house. The conduit's looking for something inside. Now we're here waiting for further orders from the conduit herself. She's gone into the Phantom Forest nearby, but we expect to hear from her shortly. I only hope we'll have the matter of the missing bloodstone sorted by then. I'll not have a soul saying we're the mountain failed to follow through. I'm going to call that hand. You'll not get a peek at these prisoners without... What are you up to, sneaking around here? Got a soft spot for those damned to the racket. Want to get your hands on the flare knives, do you? <laughs> You'll have to see y'all about that. May your sword never sully, and your shield never shatter. Aye, an orc so vile it has taken rats for pets. They swarm about him like fleas do the rest of his kind. But even they I am with disgust. Nevertheless, it's my belief that unlike the other males among the Orcs, he's no fool. He's a spy, a discoverer of secrets. Right now he's looking for the lost wizard servants, and gods protect them if he finds them. We would merely kill him. That rat lover on the other hand. Where we go, death is the horror that looms behind us. Where he goes, death is a mercy always out of reach. Hey. The deal is this. When we attacked Hunter's Edge, we and the Orcs had the village completely surrounded to ensure no one could escape. The plan was a good one, for only some blacksmith and his wife managed to flee after their little demon of a pet bit an Orc's arm off. <laughs> the wizard and his servants eluded us, but we know that the servants at least are still hiding somewhere around town. We need to find those damn people so they can tell us how to gain entry to the wizard's house. My men have been searching the village non-stop, and the orcs have put their rat herder on the job. But we also have some surviving villagers holed up down in the cellar. An orc torturer, courtesy of Glutilda, has been trying to find out where the servants are hiding, but has no finesse whatsoever, and almost instantly kills his victims. We've offered to do it for him, but Gratilda remains adamant he's the best of the best. Maybe you'd have better luck, though, if you're up for a spot of torture. Now there's no idea. Kills us all slowly. I wish it came with a knife. 
game's mine. <laughs> nice undercards, that one. Come, let's have another round before we get too drunk to read the cards. I'll win this one. The goddess is with me, I can feel it. Orders. Finally, Best not to get on her bad Let's side. Go. You know that. Fine. Yeah, yeah, but our oh, orders don't we'll job huh? Then go and find I'll yourself a sheep if you saw the bloody hot and bonnet. Oh, give me a sheep, I'm out. You the one Yarl sent me to replace the ham-fisted toad skin downstairs? About bloody time. The beast down there goes through prisoners like Gilda Godsword goes through suitors. You the one Jarl sent me to replace the ham... Jarl gave you the old clay to try your hand, did he? All the better. That big brute downstairs hasn't the faintest idea what he's doing. Clubs witness after witness over the head, smashing them to bits before we can get so much as a word out of them. Come on, let's see those cards. Read them and weep, you amateurs. I could do better than that. The son of the mountain, am I? And a blood brother of Jarl besides. Chief placed me in charge of guarding the hatch to the prison cellar. Knows I won't hesitate to split the throat of any man or orc who tried to come or go without Jarl's say so. Bring to it. You can get out, my eyes out with that great You won't look so yours. shiny I won't eye when talk. that big mean orc comes for you. Shut tight. All Here is Here to right. take over for those halfwits, are you? Thank the Goddess's gilded garter. Now we'll get some progress underway. What a mess! Isn't there a tidy way to do this? Here to take over for those halfwits, are you? Thank the Kill me now, then. Go on, do it. This place reeks of blood and worse. Ah, no, I cannot work in these conditions. Smash his heart. No, I need peace. Law no, only halfway through creative process. Law no, won't stop now. Of course. Law, of course. Though I do wonder what this pigskin thinks he could do better than you or I. Human bleed better than us. Human squish flat better than us. Kill me now, then. Go on, do it. Ah! Human silly chatter upset Law's craft. Law need break to regain his spirit. Law cannot smash and bash in this environment. I will smash and bash. You can poke my eyes out with that great gnarled horn of yours. I won't talk. I'll not tell you a thing. Do what you will. You can poke my eyes out with that great gnarled horn of yours. I won't talk. You can poke my eyes out with that great gnarled horn of yours. I won't talk. What 
Kill me now, then. Go on, do it. I'll not tell you a thing. Do what you will. A fresh pair of hands, are you? Please, you must kill me now. I will withstand anything, anything, and would rather die a thousand deaths than offer a word to the enemy. Or what? You'll destroy me? I welcome it. But there's something different about you. You don't look like the savages that ransacked our town. In fact, you... You're like the wizard, aren't you? A being of great power. And certainly, certainly not one of darkness. Yes, you're... You're here to help us, aren't you? Praise be! Get him to stop shouting or he'll blow our cover. Perhaps once he knows our true identity, he'll be willing to help us. Way to do this. If he's done making a ruckus, perhaps he'll be willing to help us. There's a tunnel in this cellar, known to most only through legend. Explore the back wall of the farthest room in this dank place and you'll find it. And if you can help me find freedom through the tunnel, I'd be willing... Well, I'd tell you how to find the wizard's servants. You've proven yourself no friend to the beasts who destroyed our town. Perhaps you can help those in hiding as you've helped me. Speaking of the others, have you spoken to the other prisoners locked in this terrible place? <coughs> we mustn't leave them here to be discovered by a second wave of brutes. What's that? They're, they're coming. They've heard us. They're coming. This chaos. Not you, Lot again. Now you will know the Open reach of hissy, my power. Now you will know the reach of my power. What? This this chaos. What a mess! Isn't that a time you wait to do this? This is savage. Back for more blood, are you? Not you lot again. Oath and hissy, was it? Not you lot again. Oath and hissy, was it? This not you lot again. Oath and hissy, was it?
I cannot thank you enough for dispatching those brutes. Is there a tidier way to do this? I've got my eyes on the prize. I, I cannot thank you enough for dispatching those brutes. My heroes, and good riddance to those hateful savages. Cone of clay. Hail, my heroes, and good riddance to those hateful savages.
Fourteen winds pulverize you. I know not why you take pity on us, but I thank you for your kindness. But wait! We can't take a step toward freedom without Nolan. Have you seen him? They took him away quite some time ago, and we've been hearing terrible sounds. He lives! Oh, by the blessed seven, we thank you! The terrible ordeal he must have gone through. But it's over now, isn't it? It's over now that the gods have sent a hero to save us. Before we were overrun by orcs, this prison was little used among we of Hunter's Edge. Still, there were always rumors that its cells couldn't hold captives for long. Some said they were swallowed up by a demon. They were only rumors. But perhaps there is a way to get us out of here. Hello again, stranger. Do you often visit the condemned in their cells? Before we were overrun by orcs, short work of those monsters. If not for you, I'd likely have been trampled flat or crushed to pulp. I owe you my very life. If, if you can prove your goodwill, that is, if you can help me escape this terrible place once and for all, I'd tell you all. Perhaps if you can help me, you'll be able to help them too. The tunnel out is here somewhere, in the farthest room, if my sight serves. Fortunately, you'll be able to move freely now that you've dispatched those guards. how many doomed it led to freedom. Let's go, bitches. Free! You made short work of those monsters. Please, you must help the others escape first. I, if, if you can prove your good... Shit. Hello again, strange... You've cleared the way? Our hero rises to every challenge. Bless you, bless you. You made short work of those moments. It's, it's too good to be true. You found the tunnel then, and the other prisoners are already free? Well, let us be on our way. Quickly, before the beasts upstairs send reinforcements. All set. My hero, you've outdone yourself. Let us be on our way then.
I'm growing too accustomed to the sight of corpses. If we do our job, these will be among the last we find. It seems we weren't the only prisoners to find passage in this tunnel, but it seems our predecessors didn't have a hero to guide them. These foul-smelling fungi must have killed those travelers. We ought not to go a step further until they're all of them destroyed. More terror. More terror. We can't turn back now. Us. Better to die here than at immaculate hands.
I prefer to drown my sorrows with ale. And so our difficulties continue. But we've got a hero on our side. Ah, oh, it's like... like the sun after a long and frigid winter. We've lost so many in these terribly dark days. But you've even rescued our dear Nolan. Words cannot express our gratitude, dear hero. But perhaps something I overheard could be some compensation for your troubles. One of the orcish brutes mentioned that Grutelda is collecting quite the stash of loot. You can find the entrance to the cellar from her office in the tavern. Here, I'll show you. Thank you, our hero. Thank you and goodbye. I'm drenched. Hello again. Do you bring good news? Strange. I never knew those savages capable of even the most basic form of order. But this bodes well, does it not? Perhaps. If you can get rid of their king, the rats will stop their search. What's a body without a head, after all? Leave? How can I leave my dearest friends behind? Who will protect them if not me? I do want to trust you, I do. I do doubt somehow they'd wish for me to remain in harm's way when a better benefactor could look out for their safety. I suppose... I suppose I shall depart then. Give them my regards, friend. And do take care of them. Some premium gear, are ya? I'll bet no one would even notice if it disappeared. Yeah, now, I'm only 
You're not allowed to buy it. I need a duty to the end. Where's the innocent in these trying times, brother? I'll take the blood, and you take the body. A fair deal, isn't it? Oh, gang texts of every kind. Get them before they turn to ash. Three of them there. What are you doing? Brutilda doesn't tell you a thing, does she? We're waiting to fight the final battle. The time is nearly nigh. Look, there. Again, the lost one strikes by. But you will have to me plenty of You aim so low, Ogma. Think of all the little fears you can have to put matters into your own hands. Brutilda doesn't tell you a thing, does she? We're waiting to fight the final battle. The time is nearly nigh. Oh, 
ready to fight the final battle. The time is nearly nigh. Select him for her chosen. Fuck, oh, I'm dripping. I'd prefer to drown my sorrows with ale. I feel like I've just had a long Ugh. bath in a I'm cold dripping. lake. I've just had a long Sorted bath all in the a way to my boot Oh, cool. Oh, I'm ready. 
My kingdom for a dry shirt. Oh, gang texts of every kind. Get them before they turn to ash. I feel like I've just had a long bath in a cold lake. Soaked to the skin. Cut it out.
should have been slow. Never rains, but it pours, eh? I feel better already. I feel better already.
betrayal ends in this grave. If blood loss may have fit for its bars, surely the living body would find it quite unpleasant. That's the tomb beneath here. I guess it'll be more than one mystery we uncover within its depths. The grate is set over a long, narrow vent. A corpse may have fit through its bars, but a living body would find it quite unpleasant. I need to dry off. I picked him for a dry shirt. It looks strange. It's soaked to the skin. Excel Titan River. 